Yeah. He's five for five on this drive. Try to drive him off sides twice. Running back moves up. You think it's a pass then? There is the pass. And it's caught by James for the first. They got out of a first and 25 situation. That's what we were talking about. Mahomes so good at the end of the half. He knows the critical moments. End of game, end of half situations. He always gives him, his team an advantage. But that was still scary when James caught that. It wasn't quite just a catch and tuck. It was like a... Yeah. It's strange when we started looking at it being like, oh, good catch. Yeah, right. Good catch. You hey, hey, expect that not to be something you have to <laughs> microanalyze. Yes. But they have so many drops. First down. Look at how much he's doing up the line. From the 13. Going to the end zone, and he was going for Rice. Well, she Rice. He's been on a tear here in the last month. Eight catches the last couple of games each. Well, Kelsey, you got a running start here, Tony. Yeah, well, Kelsey's going to go in and go here, but really, Rice, the safety makes him go inside. I can see why he did it. It looks like Kelsey's going to be open there, and it would have been a bang-bang. He could have taken that shot. But really, Rice, they're going to tell him, you've got to flatten that off. There's nobody on the inside. When he takes the high angle, Jim, the safety's able to help. Second and ten. Flips it. McKinnon to the 10. Oh, what a nice little jump cut. And able to pick up a little additional yardage. Go out of bounds at 126. But they got a third down coming up. Mahomes does a great job extending plays, keeping his eyes downfield. And McKinnon's the beneficiary of it on that play. Uh-oh, on the far side, Tony. Look up. We got Hyde is down again. That doesn't look good. Oh, just two plays after being shaken up the first time. He was trying to make his way to the sideline at the end of the play after it was over, and he fell down. So we're going to step aside again. He went into the blue tent. It's third and four coming out of the timeout. From the seven. Rice has been the guy recently, Jim. Kelsey's only had one touchdown in the last five games. Teams are really game planning for him. Here's the handoff to McKinnon. Again, bobbing and weaving and finding his way for the touchdown. What a great piece of running. Similar moves to the one he had made the play before. This one goes for the score for Jarek McKinnon. What an outstanding job. He... Benford, the corner, got juked out of understanding which hole, and this is all McKinnon and the push up front in the middle. Go ahead, and McKinnon goes back and forth, and then right outside, nobody knew where he was cutting because he had that little shifty feet back and forth. Outstanding run here. Patience. Look at that move. Yep. Juked out a couple of guys. Everyone's worried about Kelsey. Yep. For good reason, but McKinnon makes a couple of fine plays. Seven yards out for the touchdown. Well, coming up again. I don't know how many reps can you do after. So that interception, how big was it? Yeah, gosh, huge. I mean, like, that right there is the moments why Buffalo has somehow lost some close games. And... To me, it's like, even if you punt it there, it's hard for Kansas City to go 12 plays, 13, without a penalty, a sack, something happens. 74 points in the final two minutes. And now, though, the Bills have a chance to do a little something. They got 119, but they don't have any timeouts. Yeah, this is, this is going to be real interesting how aggressive you want to be right here. Part of me thinks it's a screen, something quick, or a handoff if you got these two safeties in the back, which they do. That means they got one guy less coming down here to help in the run game. Tried to blitz, got picked up. Allen flings it. Kincaid is there to get... Oh, they say he wasn't out of bounds. That's a huge call. What happens is he's down before... And this is like one of those, though, Kansas City has two timeouts. I love this. It's a muddle huddle. You're not going crazy fast because if all of a sudden you get into a third and four, Kansas City 
would take a timeout possibly. Here's a second and six. Allen deep down the field, and that was Diggs, who so far has been contained. Two catches for Stefan for a total of seven yards. And he's going against Sneed, who's playing as good at the cornerback position as anyone in the National Football League this year. Sneed has taken on the team's best players consistently and done outstanding. Buffalo wide receivers, three catches in all for 16 yards. It's third and six. Allen, a little shovel pass, and Dawson Knox has the first down. His second catch of the game. Wonderful job stepping up in the pocket, keeping your eyes downfield, but the truth is this is all just sense and feel. Got a three down look, slides up, and right here, he just out of the corner of his eyes sees Dawson Knox, and so huge having him back for all the little things. And you see the value. He knew there's a timing to that when to get out after you're helping and blocking. Perfectly done. 41 seconds left in the half, and don't forget, Buffalo deferred, so they'll get the third quarter kick. They could take a shot if they want to downfield. On first down, they go to an open man. It's Diggs. Boy, is he slammed back by Bolton. And everybody hurries to the line. This was great patience. Got to hurry up and get on the ball. But Josh Allen didn't rush through that. He sees him get way out of there, scans through the progression. And now timeout. I'm going to guess Kansas City since they're the only one who has they one. Have <laughs> yeah. well, the officials are. The field field the ruling is under review. Oh, whether or not it's a first down, the chains. Wow, would you stop it for that with 21 seconds? I wouldn't. Are you going to challenge the spot? That's the word we're hearing. It was so close, though. It just I seems know it. Let them play. We'll step aside as well. Dead, dead. You said they were short of the first, but they've changed the time on the clock. And we'll explore that in a second, but first, the clock will start. Here we go, second and a foot, but seconds to go in the half down the field. Davis is down there, and he was shielded basically out of bounds by Sneed. And Gene, do the math for me on what they did with the clock. What they did with the Jim is because that ruling stopped the clock and the clock was running when instant replay initiated a stoppage to review, because you had a running clock, 10 seconds will automatically be taken off after that review. And because Buffalo doesn't have any timeouts, they can't call a timeout to avoid that 10 second runoff. So a really big stoppage by them on a first down play for sure. We got third and so foot. Buffalo just got hurt by that a ton because the refs got it wrong. <laughs> Here's using his legs. He's going to have to get on the ball quickly. Yep. Now you're going to clock it. And if you go quickly, you can get a playoff. If you can get it at the seven, eight seconds. Now. Now what do you do? You've got a field goal that would be 62 yards. If you go for that. In pregame, you had a little help win. We saw Bucker hit it from this from spot. the 50, yeah. yeah. So I would kick the field goal. Or if there were six seconds, I'd throw a quick out. <laughs> here's here's really what you could do, Jim. You line up and you throw the if they're gonna protect the end zone for a Hail Mary, you throw a quick out. It takes two, three seconds. You if hope. they cover it correctly, you throw it over his head right away. You better hope it's a quick play. He goes out right here. He comes out right here. Uh, he saw. Oh, that was. It wasn't there, so he got it incomplete. To get things out there. Yeah. And make sure they left some time if they want to go with Bass. That, Josh is wondering why we called seconds. that one game there a little three bit. Three seconds, please. Thank you. Now they just don't believe that. They just don't believe the Bass can get it that far from 62. That's exactly right. They don't believe that. So now it's the Hail Mary, obviously. And Kelsey, by the way, is standing on the goal line. There he is. Now, 
retreating to the middle of the end zone. He was at that Hail Mary against the Packers. Uh, that last play of the game, yeah. Now he's on the other side of it. Mm -hmm. We know Josh Allen can get it there. He's got enough time. And he's got the time to heave it. And here we go. To the end zone, up in the air, bouncing around, and knocked down. Boy, it was Bolton who...